the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Today we celebrate, for, for Dominican churches, we celebrate the um, memorial of St. Antoninus of Florence. Let's begin our celebration by first calling to mind all our sins and all our failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, you blessed St. Antoninus with a marvelous gift of counsel. By the help of his prayers, while we walk in the darkness of this life, may we learn from the light of Christ all that we ought to do. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cyprus and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encourage them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the, the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All your nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All your nations praise the Lord. Please stand. <laughs> My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Meron tayong kasabihan na madalas kahit noon pa naririndig na natin sabi ng kasabihan kung gusto maraming paraan kung ayaw maraming dahilan diba? naririndig na natin yan kung gusto maraming paraan kung ayaw maraming dahilan Dahil kung gusto gagawin lahat lahat gagawin walang walang kontra kahit anong kontra malalabanan para matupad yung gusto at kung ayaw naman lahat ng dahilan naiisip para makaiwas para hindi matupad para hindi magawa kung ano yung ayaw para hindi makain para hindi mangyari kung ano yung ayaw ganito siguro yung naramdaman ng Panginoon during this time dito sa gospel natin kasi Um, maraming mga um, hindi naniniwala sa kanya maraming nagtudong uh, you know if you are um, if you are the Christ tell us already tell us plainly ano siya sabi eh, tagal pa lang siya sabi sa inyo yun eh di ba tagal lang siya sabi ng Panginoon sa mga Hudyo yun na he is the Christ he is the one sent by God he is the son of the father etc etc the father and I are one ang dami naman maparinig, ibang klase yung paraan sinabi ng Panginoon na siya na yung pinadala ng Diyos. And yet, they do not yet understand kasi ayaw. Kasi ayaw. Kaya maraming naiisip na dahilan. Ayaw makinig, ayaw pakinggan, ayaw intindihin. Bakit? Bakit ayaw? Bakit di sila naniniwala ka Jesus? Kasi they were not among His sheep hindi sila kasama from the very start, I guess, and they never changed their mind. They have never been a members or parts of the flock of the Good Shepherd who is Jesus Christ. Dahil kung sila'y kasama sa flock, obviously, logically, makikinig sila sa boses at sa tawag ng shepherd. Dahil alaga sila ng shepherd. Kung ikaw alaga, ito yung amo mo, makikinig ka, susunod ka. Meron sa aming ibang mga pare dito, mayroong kanya-kanyang alagang aso. Yung aso, sunod na sunod sa kanila, sa amo nila. Makikilaro lang kami, pupunta naman sa amin yung aso. But eventually, dun ulit susunod sa amo. They follow the master's voice. They follow the master's smell. Sumusunod, sumusunod. They follow me. Sabi ni Jesus dito sa gospel, My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Kaya yeah, yun ang test. Kung tayo tunay na kabahagi o membro ng flock ni Jesus, then we will listen to him, we will hear his voice, and we will recognize his voice, and we will follow that voice. Hindi follow lang na susunod, kundi gagawin kung ano yung, sinu- ano yung binubulong ng tawag. 
So therefore, pwede natin sabihin, masasabi lang natin na we truly belong to the flock of Jesus if we hear and listen and follow His voice. So dapat mag, ano yun, magkasama palagi. Ka ba talaga ay miyembro ng flock ni Jesus? Kasama mo ba si Jesus? Sumusunod ka ba talaga kay Jesus? Then you should be able to listen to His voice and follow Him. At kapag if we do that, meron promises si Jesus, sabi sa gospel. Meron promises si Jesus sa atin na mga kung tayo'y talagang matapat na susunod sa Panginoon, meron siyang promises. Una, I will give them, sabi niya, I give them eternal life. Eternal life. And eternal life is the life of God. So, binibigay sa atin yung buhay ng Diyos. At kapag natanggap na natin yung buhay which we have received in baptism, kapag natanggap na natin yan, dapat sana makikita natin yung mga bagay-bagay sa mundo in a different perspective. Makikita natin yung mabu- ang buhay at lahat ng nangyayari through the eyes and the lenses of God. Kaya kahit hindi, kahit hindi pa laging masarap o hindi laging masaya, hindi laging nasa tamang bagay nangyayari, eh, kampanti tayo. We are at peace because we know that God's plan, God's way is happening. We will, able to, we will be able to see everything in the eyes of God. Una yun, eternal life. At yung eternal life then this also is uh, life without end. Ibig sabihin, sabihin din yun, life without end. But that, what that means to us is that yung ating kamatayan is only kapag tayo, we belong to the flock of Jesus, our death becomes only a transition, not the end. Kaya ka tayo, di ba, naniniwala tayo sa afterlife. Naniniwala tayo na pagkatapos ang buhay na ito, mayroon pang isang buhay na nagaantay sa mas maganda at mas ma, ma, walang hanggan na buhay na nagaantay sa ating life without end. And having believed that, if we truly believe that, then meron tayong laging pag-asa. Yun na nga, kahit nga hindi masyadong magandang nangyayari, kahit may problema, may sakit, may gulo, we still hope na mayroong magandang darating. If not in this life, in the next. There is hope. There is life after. At pangatlo, na promise atin ni Jesus ay, we, they, we, we will, the flock who listen to God, who listen to the voice of the shepherd, will never perish. Aalagaan at ipoprotektahan sila lagi ng good shepherd. So kung tayo ay the flock, and if you follow Jesus and listen to Jesus, we will never perish. We will always be secure. Hindi ibig sabihin laging masarap. Yun nga. Laging kasama naman sa buhay kasi yun, di ba? Na konting hirap, konting sakit, konting problema. But we will always be secure that God is with us. That God is with us. So ang tanong, paano tayo makakasiguro na tayo nakikinig nga o sumusunod nga sa Panginoon? If you want to be really, truly members of Jesus' flock, di ba? We should be able to listen and we should be able to follow Jesus. So, paano tayo makakasiguro? Anong gagawin natin? Dalawang bagay. Kasi sa dalawang bagay lang naman tayo nakikita um, yung ating character, yung ating ugali. Salita at gawa. Makikinig tayo sa salita ni Jesus. Sa salita ng Panginoon. Pakikinggan natin mabuti. Pakikinggan natin so that tumatak para tumatak sa ating isip at sa puso. At kapag nakatatak na sa ating isip at puso, lalabas sa ating mga kamay, sa ating gawa. Kaya ang pangalawa, gawa. Ang pagsunod sa Panginoon ay, sa, ay pagsunod sa kanyang salita at sa kanyang gawa. At yung mga salita na yan at gawa na yan ay laging nagsasabi ng, at nag, nagsasabuhay ng katotohanan, ng pagbamalasakit at pagbamahal, pagpapatawad, katarungan, pagsisisi, pag-unawa, pag-aruga sa ibang tao. Kapag may nakita, nagsasabi sila'y um, tagasunod ni Kristo, sumusunod kay Kristo, pero sinungaling naman, 
nakaka may question mark. Hindi dapat, di ba? Dapat makatotohanan kung tunay na sumusunod kay Kristo. Kapag sumusunod kay Kristo, pero damot naman, mandaraya naman, may question mark. Baka hindi si Kristo sinusunod. Di ba? At, hindi, at dahil kung yan ang ating nag, uh, nagsasabing sila ay ating leader, halimbawa ngayon, no, katatapos na ng election, yung ating mga inilagay sa pwesto, yung mga mailalagay sa pwesto, no? dapat pa rin kikilatisin pa rin natin, hindi lang tayo basta-basta sunod lang na sunod. Susunod din natin sila kapag dinadala nila tayo sa pamumuhay na katulad kay Kristo. Susunod tayo sa kanila kapag ang boses nila katulad ng boses ni Kristo. Susunod natin ang kanilang pamumuhay kung pamumuhay nila ay katulad kay Kristo. Hindi lang nag-stop sa kanila kasi hindi naman sila yung good shepherd. Sila yung good shepherd if they follow the teachings and the life of the real, of the ultimate, absolute good shepherd who is Jesus Christ. Hindi lang yung mga government officials, tayo rin. Leaders din tayo, shepherds din tayo in some ways. Shepherds tayo sa pamilya natin, shepherds tayo sa parokya, shepherds tayo sa skwela kung teacher ka, shepherd ka sa mga pasahero mo kung driver ka. We lead people also. And in doing so, dapat ang ating pagkikilatis ay mga salita ba natin katulad ng salita ng Panginoon? Magawa ba natin katulad ng gawa ng Panginoon? Importante yun kasi kung katulad tayo ng Panginoon, magiging katulad rin tayo ng Diyos Ama. Because Jesus and the Father are one. And if we are one with Jesus, then we also are one with the Father. Pagdasal natin, lalo na ngayon, no? importante para sa ating bayan. Sana yung ating mga nahalal, may lalagay, na ilagay sa pwesto, ay sana maging magkaroon ng boses, aalingaw ngayon, mag-e-echo ng boses ni Jesus Christ at ng kanyang pamumuhay para madala tayo sa tunay na kapayapaan, tunay na kaligayahan, tunay na buhay. Let us all stand now. God gives eternal life to the sheep of His flock. Let us pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken away from His care. And after each petition we say, Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the Pope and the bishops may become true shepherds by leading their flock to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may be led back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the youth may hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the sick may experience the tenderness of Good Shepherd, through the loving care of their families, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That Christ, the Good Shepherd, may lead the dead safely home, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bless thy Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of your manans. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept the gifts we bring to your altar on this feast of our brother Antoninus. May our offering bring honor to your name and deepen your love in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Antoninus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
but to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Antoninus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please descend. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God take you take away the sins, away of, the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Grant us peace. Please kneel. <coughs> this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please, Alessandro. Let us pray. Lord, you have refreshed us by these holy mysteries. By following the example of our brother Antoninus, may we strive to possess what he believed and to practice what he taught. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Sabi, um, hindi pa po tapos yung ating trabaho para sa ating bayan. So, continue po tayo magdasal para yung ating ma nailagay sa pwesto ay mag-isa ng, ma mag ng maayos na mga leaders para sa atin. Um, pagdasal natin sila para makinig sila sa tinig ng Panginoon para ang pagkanilang paglilid sa atin ay katulad ng paglilid ng Panginoon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall now uh, pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.